Hey everyone and welcome to my first YouTube video. So this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and I just never really got around to it. I never had ideas about what to post but after spending hours and hours watching YouTube videos and just getting encouragement from other people I guess I decided to just give it a try. <laughs> so for my first video I wanted to do sort of a, a mini collection post of just my favorite handbags at like this time and um, not too much detail on any of them but just like a quick intro video a little bit about me my style everything so the first bag I will start with is my most recent purchase it is the Balenciaga first bag and I got this pre love from a site called Yugi's Closet and it was posted up in the description with the color seagull and after doing a bit of research I this is not the color this is not seagull um, I actually had another girl on Instagram tell me that it is actually um, I believe if I'm saying this right it's called castagna I don't speak Italian <laughs> so the leather is super smooth super soft and it has these little leather strings on each of the zippers if you could see those and the handles are so cute they're woven it has one main zipper pouch which I have <laughs> my stuff in right now because I'm currently carrying and it just has a little plaque that says Balenciaga Paris I don't know how well you can see that with a code on it the inside has a small zipper pouch also with little tiny leather tassels that I'm not sure if they were cut shorter or that's how short they normally are. A nice size little pouch you could fit your cell phone in. The interior is just like a, a black canvas sort of material. And on the front side it comes with another zipper pocket which right now I just have the Balenciaga mirror that comes attached to the handbag. I just store that in there and it's super cute it has a, a short little removable strap that you can just kind of carry and it just sits right like that you know not too far down I'm not a big fan of crossbody bags I just feel like I like my bag more secure on my shoulder or in my hand but that's just my personal style it's my personal preference and the next bag I'm going to show you is not a big designer name brag <clears throat> excuse me bag but it is one that I got from my boyfriend for my birthday and it is by a brand called Princely London which is actually based in Germany if I'm correct so I'm not sure why the name is Princely London but this is their shopper Beverly tote in light blue and I like this bag it's super cute this is like the perfect size bag for me it has the nice tote handles that sit right on your shoulder very comfortably the inside is black as well I think it's a, a cotton cotton lining it has like sort of a I don't know if you could tell like a, another little flap a zipper flap that you can put you know your cell phone your wallet into that's separate and it kind of separates your bag into two sections along the interior there is another little zipper pouch that you could fit just your little miscellaneous items into on the reverse side there is two other little pouches and they have that little um, the little lining the canvas lining and it, this one's a little too small for a cell phone but I put my keys in there my key holder fits perfectly if you have a small wallet or card holder that fits nicely in there and I like it it's really cute I'm a big fan of Princely they're very reasonably priced and I think they're just made beautifully if you can't afford a super expensive designer handbag I think this is a great alternative the bottom also has those little brass feet to protect it from when you set your bag down anywhere so thank you <laughs> for my birthday present uh, the next bag I have is my coach hologram tote and it it's again nothing special nothing super fancy and expensive but I was watching this bag for quite a while and I fell in love with it when I first saw it online and then I found out they stopped selling it in stores 
but when I was visiting the outlet mall with my boyfriend and my son, I came across this bag in the Coach Factory store, and it was like a third of the retail price, so I had to buy it. And again, it's a, a tote bag, my favorite. It sits real nicely on your shoulder. There's a nice drop right there. It doesn't dig too far into your arm. And it comes with the little coach coach tag that's also hologram. It has the little coach plaque right there. And the interior is, again, just another black cotton. It has the coach, coach label, also hologrammed on the inside. And it has one big zipper pouch that I usually put my cell phone in, my keys in, just, you know, close it up and secure it. And then again, on the reverse side, this one also has two other little open pouches. And it's just really nice and roomy. It's very spacious. And I feel like it just goes with almost everything because it has that iridescence to it where it kind of changes color with the light. Now, this one doesn't have the feet at the bottom, which I'm kind of bummed about, but it's okay. I still love this bag anyways. And for the price that I found it, it's totally worth it. So... I don't always spend a lot of money on my purses. I generally prefer to buy them pre-loved. Sometimes I feel like it helps the the leather break in. I love the feel of like a soft leather bag that's been used and worn. I don't care for the patina that's super dark as much. I usually like my bags to have the lighter patina on them. And that's just, again, my personal preference. But... There are some bags that I will spend retail price because it's nice to walk into the store and buy it brand new and it's your baby and it's it's like a special moment. But there's also other bags that I like that are discontinued or they just, they're out of my price range. I can't justify spending that amount on a handbag right now. But this was actually my first luxury handbag, my first high-end handbag that I bought brand new from the Louis Vuitton store in Costa Mesa, California. And it is the Tivoli PM, and she's my favorite. This is my favorite handbag. I admit she doesn't get used as much as I wish I could because I'm afraid if I'm going somewhere where she might get messed up, where she might get dirty, if the weather looks like it might rain, anything. So this is like my Sunday bag, you know, my weekend. Sometimes I'll take it to work, and oh, I just love it. It's super cute. The handles, it's not a tote bag, so you can't put it on your shoulder. There is no option for a, a strap. But it's super cute to just hold and, you know, put in the crook of your arm. And it does have the Louis Vuitton Paris embossed in the front. And I, this is my favorite bag charm. I always put it on all of my bags. But whenever I have my Tivoli, she always gets this bag charm. I don't think I've ever put any other charm on her. And I love even the the little zipper it has the brass LV. I don't know if you could see that very well. And it's super cute. I just love, like, even the smell of it is perfect. And the inside has the brown canvas material. And it has the tag. It says Louis Vuitton Paris. Now, this one wasn't made in France. This one was actually made in USA. And the little tag on the inside, it's really hard to kind of get on camera. It has the LV emblem, and it says made in USA of imported materials. But I don't really mind. Some of my pieces are made in France. Some of my pieces are made in Spain. It really doesn't make a difference to me. I don't mind. I know some people are very particular. or They like to have all their pieces from France, but I don't mind. And I've heard that since they've discontinued this bag, so I'm just glad that I got it when it was still available. And the inside does have two little pouches, which I usually put my key holder, my card holder, just little small items in there. Or if I need to put like a, a paper, a note or something. But yeah, I've probably only used her maybe a dozen times or so because I'm so adamant about getting her dirty. And she does have the little brass feet at the bottom again too for when you set it down. But I really need to start carrying her more and just taking her out because... Uh, is just my favorite handbag ever and she still has a very light patina on her I don't know I might start trying to get it a little bit darker but yeah so those are my four like favorite handbags my four main handbags right now 
And I actually have another surprise coming next week, which I will probably be doing for my second video. I will be doing an unboxing for it. It's another Louis Vuitton as well. And that will probably make my favorites list because it, that bag I've wanted since I was in high school. And it was discontinued as soon as I had the money to buy it. And every time I went to go buy it and a pre-loved one, it just it fell through. Other things came up and it just never happened. So I'm really excited for this next, next delivery that I'm going to get next week. So... That was my first YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please, you know, like this video, thumbs up, follow, subscribe, anything. Your feedback is very important to me. I would like to know what you guys would like to see posted, what you guys want more of, what I should improve on. Just all the feedback. Just give it all to me. It's okay. <laughs> And you guys can also follow me on Instagram. My username is the same as it is on YouTube, just at Carly Chanel. So I hope you guys all have a beautiful weekend. Thanks. Bye.